Hey, hello guys, let's say fear. I hope you're feeling well. Today we are playing Shrine the Curse of Bad Eye, where we are in a search of our girlfriend who went out in the Shrine Woods for a test of courage, and we are going after her, searching for her while having a man whose head was switched to a butthole hunting us. So just let's go. The legend says that only the most daring possess the courage to look into the eye of evil. A test of courage that saw even the best fall. Of these, only one managed to find the truth. But he was unaware that the act would change his life forever. Having a head as a butthole. My girlfriend Sharon has been missing for days. In her last Sharon. message, she said she would go out to a test of courage. My beautiful wife. But she never came back. It might be Sharon who will be pursuing us with her butt head. If she went for a test of courage. For the same test of courage that the other guy went for. No sign of her. She said something about a test of courage. Yes, we know that. It doesn't look like anything. <laughs> if she's been here for the last three days, I've got a bad feeling about this. I know what happened, actually. Aaron, could you really be here? After she went for this test of courage and managed to face the eye, and thus she also started having a head of a butthole right after that he must have met up the guy who has also a butthole instead of his head they totally fell in love with each other and from then on they live in happiness sharon's note this diary belongs to sharon and it talks about an author and the test of courage to face further on is their path that starts from the entrance of this place that can truly lead to an author Mentioned in the notes? Maybe. Nice advertisement for her other game. This Sharon car and this is my car. We are in a park. There's a fume coming out from somewhere. Another car. How many <laughs> car? How many people lost their ways here? Sharon, please, I miss you already. It's only been three days. And I don't feel I could live longer without you, Sharon. I just want to be with you. Am I supposed to be following the candles? The wild candles. They must be tamed. I mean, you know. Wild candles. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Okay, that was not pleasant. Ow! I lost. Shut up! <laughs> that was horrible. Why did I die? Wow, are you serious right now? Why the f did I die? I was following the candles, the wild candles. I'm just starting to think what advantage is to have to having a wild candles in your house, in your garden. Then the poopy head it tagged me. That was really bad. I. I just hate the sound he makes. Press to read. You will see him if you among ass. <laughs> that can be. Page 7 or 8 added to our library. Ooh. Or what if that is Sharon? Should I be like hurry here? Do we got eight pages is like slender man when I gotta find all the pages? It's confusing. How not to get caught by that evil asshole. 
don't even have a flashlight. Fumes coming from here. Give me my paper. An arsehole. An arsehole all over the place. The force of artists want us to join their league. It must be really, really lonely being the only horse face in the world. So, yep. Yeah. I somewhat can understand him, you know. Just really wants us to join him. Blah, 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 blah. Give me my paper. I have two out of eight. I don't have stamina, which is also a really good choice in horror games where you gotta run long distances. I found that altar. And as soon as I got to that altar, Arts face attacked me. So that boils down to what I think not to do is um, getting near to that altar. Until I keep my distance from that altar, I must be safe. Hey! Oh! No! I'm hearing somebody. I'm hearing something though. There's a candle. Oh! Uh, this is the path leading towards the altar. I, I don't want to... <laughs> Fuck you! Oh, oh! You see? How good we don't have to put up with stamina! Are you still after me? Yes! Oh no! Freak! How can he be scary? How can he be scary? He's just a big horse! Is this case lost? Yes, probably. 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 Ouch. He just bit my arse. He just wanted to have a little piece of my arse. He's uh, not satisfied with his own arse on his own face. Four pages. Cool. We experience even if he's chasing us. That doesn't mean our case is lost. It means we just gotta keep running. Big obnoxious building. With a big obnoxious room. There's a pa There's not a paper. That wasn't a paper. It must be here, up here. Totally. Oh no, I'm totally hearing him. That freaks me out. The paper must be here. There she... Oh, there he is. There's no paper here. The, oh, thanks what? Fool. F***ing fool. Please let me out of here. Oh. <laughs> I choked on my own fear. That was terrible. Is there more arse faces? These sounds kill me. Kill me. They kill me. I don't like it. It's a test of courage. I'm gonna try and collect the paper at the altar. It must be a paper there too. I was just... Uh, wasn't prepared for... Having that butthole around when I first went to that altar. Have I found it here in um, a paper? No. It must be the path leading towards the altar. Well, I don't see candles. There's a candle. There's a candle. There's a candle. Yes. Okay, I, f I, th I think um, we gotta find two more. That's cool. Last time he must have crept 
up on my back without me noticing it. Uh, 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 uh. I completely thought it was uh, related to the author itself. You know, being near to the author will mean this butthole will eat us for sure. <laughs> Fuck. He's somewhat faster than last time. Just keep running. We gotta get him loose. He's gotten lost. Paper? Is it the paper? Oh. Sharon! Sharon! Living with the battle, I'm ho I'm hoping you're happy still. Actually, Sharon could be a positive effect on this butthole life by, you know, um, trying to chill him. Don't touch, don't touch, don't touch. I must found only one page. And I'm good. And I'm good to go. Have I been here? Have I been here? <gasps> oh. Oh. <laughs> Man. It's really easy having him lost our sense. One more paper. Where the heck could that one more paper be? It's an easy to beat game. You gotta be really unlucky to mess it up. And then I hope I won't be. W wasn't there supposed to be a paper? Mr. House? Oh. Hey. What? How? What the f bullshit was that? How? I've just noticed that we have a map. And it is actually more where the papers are. So it's easier than I thought. I've been searching for those freaking papers for like um, half an hour. And the butthole always somehow get, gets me. Wait. So why isn't it in its place then? If it's supposed to be here. You gotta find them in order. Is it the thing? I totally felt that it, it's not, like, not possible for me to do this. But with a map, it's um, totally different. Should go there. Yep. Our first paper. Pluck. The second one is on our left. The only problem when you use the map, it doesn't seem to stop the game. <laughs> Which is really unfortunate. Third one is just right behind us, really, really far away. I was about to give up when I realized we got a map. It's awesome. It's very, very, very awesome. The third one will be at the shrine, at the altar. And I feel like the game sometimes is not fair. <laughs> Especially towards the end, even if you run away from the monster, he just gets you. He gains speed on you and f**ks you in your butt. I see your butt. <laughs> I didn't recognize it, that was funny. The um, fourth one will be here. Uh, you see, now I can get away with him noticing me, but towards the end, he goes totally nuts. And no matter what you do, he will reach you in the end. It's uh, supposed to be here. In this little circle. How to get in this little circle? It's uh, somehow in this... Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Mm, hey, yo! Poop on your freaking head, dude. Big poop with the diarrhea. The dollop of chili ice cream. So your butt will hurt. The fifth one. 
should be here. If we are following the fence, yep, it must be in this big building. That's the scariest place, by the way, in the game. Because as you're heading out, there's a pretty high chance to find yourself in front of this asshole. So I particularly hate this freaking place. Ah, tiffy tofatafa! And your attitude sucks, dude. Sucks ass. I am for the sixth one, which is a. Uh, I'm actually heading towards the right direction. Yep, this is the sixth one. I only wish. He couldn't catch me at the end so easily. It's such a bullshit. That'll be the author one. Yeah, totally. Totally. We are go going on the path of the candles, of the wild candles. So this is the seventh one. Ooh. Eighth? It's right about our right. After all, it... What it boils down to, it's collecting paper, it's completely like um, Slender Man. After a while, it just gets really boring. <laughs> but I still want to finish it, it's a challenge. But with this game, the thing is that it can overstay its welcome pretty easily. I mean, from my perspective, I can get bored on them really, really easily. Frick. I don't see the eighth one. Okay, I'm really, really close to the eighth one actually. Oh, just get it. Have I done it? Go back to the altar. Hmm. You couldn't ask a easier thing to do. Freak. I don't know by heart where's the altar. But I actually know that this is the path that leads us to the altar. So we are close. We can say that we are close to finishing the game. God of Ours Holes, please let me let me get to the altar, please. Towards the left. No, it's not. Yep, that's the altar. What now? What now? Isn't it the author? Man, it's not the freaking author. It totally looks like an author. <laughs> Please don't kill me. Please, I gone so far. Please don't kill me right now. Oh man. It seems like even when you pause the game, he can creep on you. What a nice, what a nice one, huh? So I can start everything from the start. Now, I've collected all the eight papers. You just somehow gotta get to the altar. If we are following this road, at the end of the road, there will be the altar. Come on, David. It's not a hard test. You can do it. Nope. I went to the wrong direction, obviously. So... There must be the shrine. Yes, please! Encapsulate me! Sweet shrine! Save me from the devil! Oh... The devil Think. Think. has an arse face, actually. <laughs> She will, she will have an arse face too. Yes, no. I don't know, dude. Oh, her last meal was a soup. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, the test of courage. Can you eat the soup? Do you dare to eat the soup or not? That soup must consist eyes of people who had gouged out their own eyes, it's got there, it's maturing there, it must be really 
really tasty, squamishes. Sharon? Are you Sharon? <laughs> she must be Sharon. He just needed an eyeball. Oh, poor fella. He could have let me know. I gouged out. I would have gouged out my own eye. If it for him needing it. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Ah, Sharon's there. Did you get to keep your eyes, Sharon? Thank you for playing. Well, thank you for making the game. With a nice Kill Bill song. And that was Shrime the Curse of But I. It's certainly not my genre that I enjoy, where you gotta go like this and that and running away from the monsters. But you know, sometimes we gotta get out of our comfort zones and, and try different things out. I enjoyed it somewhat. I hope you enjoyed it too. Just a little bit. And see you next time. Bye.